Um, so let's get started looking at the syllabus. It's not particularly exciting, but it is necessary. Uh, you can say that a lot about a lot having to do with math. So um, I'm going to share my screen, uh, uh, the Canvas home screen with you in uh, just, just a second. Give me just a second here. Okay, so this is the home screen you'll see when you get to Canvas. It might be wider if you're using a bigger monitor than I am. Um, and this is the uh, kind of the announcement that Jordan, and I also sent it in an email. So it's kind of the announcement that Jordan was just talking about. Um, actually, a little further down. There we go. Uh, beginning algebra is a prerequisite for math 60. Now, I don't necessarily mean the, the class beginning algebra. I just mean like introductory algebra. So if you had like algebra one in high school, that works. So let's talk about the syllabus. Um, and oh, by the way, this is all taking place on the home screen in Canvas. I try to put a lot of what you need on the home screen. So syllabus and course information on the home screen. And then it takes you to a page where there's already a preview, so you don't need to download the file. You could download it. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but if you can see my cursor right here, you could download it by clicking on that down arrow. But you don't need to because the preview, the inline preview comes up automatically. Okay, so make sure you're in the right place. Uh, this is Math 60. My name is Craig Chamberlain. Office hours 9 to 11 a.m. Monday through Thursday. Uh, by email or by Zoom, I'm happy to meet with you. I'm working out of my home office. Uh, so that my, my regular office is in P2, but we're not gonna be back on campus for a while, so that doesn't matter. Uh, you, can, you can reach my phone number and I can check my messages. I can't answer that directly. So it's better just to email me through, uh, message me through uh, Canvas or through the email address you see there. The text uh, is Intermediate Algebra Concepts and Applications, 10th edition by Bittinger. It, the e-text comes with my math lab or my lab uh, math. Uh, so you don't have to buy that one separately. And you don't need a hard copy of it unless you really want one. Uh, prereqs, you need to be, uh, uh, your eligibility needs to be determined through the math placement process. Course content is here. I'll let you read through that on your own. Course objectives, I'll let you read through those. It'll they'll actually make more sense at the end of class after you understand all the vocabulary that we're talking about. So let's get down to the basis for evaluation, which is I'm sure what you're more interested in. In this class, there's gonna be three tests worth 60% of your grade. Online homework will be 10%, but that's a big 10% because if you don't do the online homework, you're not gonna be prepared for the tests. And then online quizzes, uh, which are kind of like practice tests, are worth 10%. And then the comprehensive final 20% of your grade. Standard grading scale, if you score in the 90s an A, 80s a B, 70s a C, and so forth. And then calculators, uh, you need a, a scientific calculator to successfully complete this course. Um, and, and I'm gonna assume that you'll have one for the very first test. You're not allowed to use calculators that do symbolic manipulation like the TI-89 or certain Casio calculators. Um, of course, you can't use smartphones on the, on, as calculators on the test either. Now, homework, quizzes, tests via MyLab. Um, actually, that's a kind of a mistake on my part. We're not gonna do tests via MyLab, but they will be done in Canvas. Homework, quizzes, and tests will be done with Canvas using MyLab, uh, MyLab Math or MyMathLab, it's also known as. MyLab Math is an online math system required for this course. This package includes an ebook, homework assignments, online exams, lecture videos, videos of worked out examples for each section and other tools to help you succeed in the course. We'll talk about how to get that in, in just a little bit. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about the last part of this uh, blurb here in just a little bit. Workload, uh, you should expect to spend around 14 hours per week on this class altogether. Um, so that differs for some students it'll be more, for some students less, maybe at the beginning of the semester, it won't be quite so much because it's a lot of review material at the beginning. But on average, yeah, about 14 hours per week. Uh, tutoring, you can get help at the virtual uh, math learning center. Um, so you can go to the website for the schedule and, and you'll see information about contacting a professor and, and or a tutor that you would, and uh, according to, to a time that you're available, I suppose. Um, the test requirements. Testing of students will be monitored using a third party app called Proctorio. 
Proctorio requires that you have a computer. So you're not gonna be able to do this class on your smartphone. Um, it may not even work on a lot of tablets. You should be able to get it to work on like a Google Chrome uh, book. And then of course, any Mac or, um, or PC will work. Um, you're gonna need uh, a webcam, microphone, Google Chrome is the browser you have to use, um, and an internet connection that allows you to stream video. You can click on the link in blue uh, for all the requirements. Um, you will also need a smartphone or a digital camera because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you take pictures of your writing so I can grade your work and give you partial credit. I'm gonna have you take pictures of that um, and upload it. Um, and I'll talk more about that in a little while. So that's why you need the, either the smartphone with the digital camera or I don't, you know, most people don't have a digital camera these days, but if that's the way you wanna do it, uh, that would be absolutely fine. Um, I'll, I'll provide you with more information about uh, the uh, Proctorio shortly. So makeup, uh, you'll have about five days to take a test or a quiz. So you gotta plan your time accordingly. I'm not gonna let you make up tests past the deadline, but you do have a nice big window to take the test and or quiz. Um, late online homework is accepted with a 10% penalty. So you can still get 90% on your, on your homework grade, even if you're late. Um, disabled students, if you have um, a disability that I need to know about, let me know about it. And if you require accommodations, you know to contact uh, Disabled Student Programs and Services. Um, and the extension is there. They're also called the, called the DRC. So uh, 2375 is their extension. Acad academic integrity says don't cheat. And then here's a tentative schedule. This, uh, okay, the, the way the schedule works is on the left side here, it's the, it's the Monday uh, that starts the week. I don't expect you to do everything on August 24th today, all of this today. These are the activities that you're going to do the week of August 24th, if that makes sense. And, and they actually won't be due until uh, a week from today. Uh, so you can see the pace we're on the first test, about one test a month. And the first test will be, um, so, you know, the week of September 14th, usually towards the end of the week, overlapping with the weekend. Um, that's the schedule. 